Hi there, my name is Eli, and welcome back to my channel, Draculija. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at two Rainbow High Violet Willow dolls. First up, I have Violet's Slime Doll. Now, I've already reviewed four of the six Slime Dolls, and I just keep buying them. And you know what? I said, let's just finish the series off. I have two left, so we have Violet today. And we'll see how she turns out. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about her. I... Yeah, that's how I feel. This is that little sound I just made. So we'll see about her. And then we have her like budget doll, the swim and style Violet Willow. Now, facially, the mug on this doll is like chef's kiss gorgeous. But these dolls have very low quality hair, like basically polypropylene hair. It just has very different ways of moving and behaving. And I already looked at the Sunny Madison doll from this series. There's four dolls in this series. And I already looked at Sunny. And right off the bat, in that video alone, like I could tell that these dolls had low quality hair. And so I'm curious about Violet. Because of the like core six, Violet has metallic nylon, which already like behaves a little bit more finicky than regular, like standard Rainbow High Kiwi nylon. So I'm curious to see like how she's gonna perform compared to Sunny. Is it going to be different, the same? We shall see. I don't know yet. I haven't opened her up. That's the plan for today. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might do some restyles. I might change up their fashion. might change up their hair. I'm not too sure yet. Violet is such a strange <laughs> character for me because I feel like she has this weird thing where, like, in every line that she is in, she's either the best doll or, like, the worst doll. Like, she doesn't ever settle somewhere in between as just, like, meh. She's either like, oh my god, that's the most gorgeous doll ever and you need to get her, or it's like, that doll's trash garbage, don't even bother. And I think that's kind of funny and iconic to me a little bit. Like, Violet kind of has something about her, and I don't know if it's good or I don't know if it's bad. I don't know, I don't know what to think. So, hopefully by the end of this video, we have a better grasp on these two dolls. I don't want the uh, Junior High doll. I really don't like the Junior High Pajama Party series. I have Bella and Sunny and... I don't like either of those dolls. Like, the longer I've had them, the more I've disliked them. So I already don't even want to bother with that Skylar and that Violet, so I'm not getting her. Yeah, we're going to focus on these two today. Okay, that's enough rambling. Let's get started. Okay, I am back. I have unboxed my two Violet Willow dolls. And before I get into these gorgeous dolls, I'm going to talk about the supporting cast I've conjured up for this video. So I have a winter break Violet rocking Tiara Song's second outfit, Song's shoes, because Tiara's shoes suck. Those like shoes are just terrible. These are, I think, Aisha Sterling shoes. And then I have Slime Jade, who I've slightly restyled. She is there to sort of just represent, you know, another slime doll. <laughs> and then I have Swim and Style Sunny Madison in the back there, as well as a Margot de Prola from Pacific Coast, who is rocking Junior High Violet's outfit, because I love this look. And we'll take that and tangent into Violet. I always feel like Violet's hair never really goes that well with her fashions. I actually feel like these two are maybe some better examples of it. But like with Junior High Violet, she has this very soft, very like lavendery purple. And then her hair is like this, you know? And they never really feel cohesive. That's kind of always been my chief complaint with Violet. But I actually think this hair blend that the Slime Doll has is really, really gorgeous. You can see it. I'll bring it a little closer. Oopsie, it's going to get washed out here because it's shiny metallic nylon. But it's a pretty it's a pretty blend. It's, you know, shiny as hell because it's metallic-y. But I like her hair blend. And just feeling her hair feels nice and soft. She has some of these, like, big curls in it. I will wash her out and try to fix that hair up. She just has a middle part. Pretty easy style, as if you even call that a style. And this doll over here, this woman's style doll, does not have like a curly texture. She just has straight hair. But right off the bat, I can tell just by feeling this hair with my hands that it just, I don't, it just feels dry. It feels really dry, but like it doesn't look terrible. And it's a really good color match. So it's really hard to discern like what's going on here between these two violet dolls 
This one I will say is other than these like little bits of highlights that have more of that like silver and orchidy purple. She's mainly this sort of like steely blue color, almost like a mm, grapey periwinkle color. That's mainly this doll. Whereas this doll has so much more like highlights and definition between all three shades. As you can see, just through these curls and these ringlets, it's a lot prettier of a color blend. And it just feels noticeably softer. There's not a lot of product in these curls as well. So yeah, I will later on in this video wash and style both of their hair. They're just rocking box hair. But first impressions is that this Violet's hair is just noticeably lower quality, feels worse. It's a nice length. And like the, the ends don't look fried, which tends to be a signature of polypropylene. I consider this polypropylene. I don't really want to like nitpick between like high quality nylon or like low quality nylon. It just, it doesn't feel good. It does not feel good, but we'll see how this hair changes throughout the, you know, course of this video as I wash and condition and treat it and style it and all that jazz. Okay. Now we'll actually get into the meat and potatoes of what these dolls offer and what they have. So let's get that part started. So we'll start off with Slime Violet because, you know, she has more things to her. I want to make that damn slime <laughs> so it can set. So we'll actually start there. So I said this before, we'll do it again. I always make the slime. It just kind of feels like, I don't know, I feel like I need to with these dolls. And I see a lot of people in my comments be like, I love these dolls. I just don't make the slime. And like, that's totally cool. But I, it's kind of tradition for me at this point. I've already made it four times. Let's make it a fifth time. All you do is you just add this little water. I have water here. Add it to this shaker. I'm going to add a little less because I spilled some. So let's do like there. That's, that was pretty much the full line, whatever. And you cover it and shake it for about a minute. Let it set for about 15. You do need to let it set pretty long. I've tried to like access it without letting it set fully. And it is really gross and wet. So I'll just do a quick demonstration. Yeah, do that for a minute. Okay. I'm back. I am going to let this set now for 15 minutes while we carry on throughout the video. But the premise with these slime dolls is you can fill the slime in accessories and have fun. There's glitter you can add to it. Forewarning, <laughs> this glitter is messy and gets everywhere. So good luck. I, I also add the glitter each time, despite it being terribly messy. Without fail, I'm going to add it. So I'm going to set that aside. She comes with a pet. This pet's name is Periwinkle, despite this color being anything, anything but Periwinkle. This is like a, how would we describe this? Not Periwinkle, kind of more like orchid, borderline pink. Yeah, she's, she's still really cute. It's a poodle, so it's Violet's vibe and energy. And then the heads come off, fill it with slime for fun. You can use it as storage or the crystal shaker, whichever you prefer. And that is the little pets. I think the, you know, the pets are okay. They're cool. They're fine. Don't love them. Don't hate them. They're just, they're just kind of, they're just kind of there. Then you get a bag. The bag is plastic to hold accessories. I've already filled this with just random accessories that I have lying around, like a little champagne bottle, some glasses, a phone. Let me empty that out. But yeah, you can open this up, fill it with slime, or just use it for fashion purposes. This one is like a suitcase style with like a almost like alligator texture yeah it's just plastic not fabric unfortunately but you know you can dangle them on the doll and display them as such and then we'll get into the actual violet willow doll so violet's fashion is this this is what we're working with okay let's take a look well we'll start off on this face so these slime dolls, a signature feature of them is this glitter face. Some of them have gold, some of them have silver. It just depends on the character. I think Ruby and Sunny have gold. I think Maya, Jade, Violet, and Skylar have silver, if I'm correct. And it is kind of a holographic glitter. It kind of reflects rainbow. Mm, violets is actually pretty intense. All of the violets I see have very intense face glitter. I was looking for a little lighter glitter. It's pretty intense. The one thing I don't like about this face for Violet are the brows. They're just not my favorite brows. Um, the lips are really pretty though, kind of just a nice blushy pink. They do have those signature like lip line definition details. Another thing I've noticed with Violet in store is 
the under eye tends to be very faint. Like it's rare to find a solid black under eye liner. I really had a hunt for a decent face for Violet that suited my <laughs> my standards. I do like her her liner, just kind of graphic liner, like winged out within a white graphic liner and the slightest purple smoked out. Very simple makeup, still such a pretty doll. I love the blush. She does have her ears pierced, but no earrings. And I've noticed when you try to stick earrings in, these earring holes are very tight. So yes, good luck. And that is her face. I think it's pretty. I do think the swimming style face is probably prettier, which we will look at later. And this is her outfit. Now we can talk about taste levels, but just practicality. These sequins are already getting caught in the hair and like it's bugging me. So I know I'm not going to want this to be the final outfit. But if you take her off the stand, this is two pieces. You have like this pretend sort of like jacket that's tied around. Um, kind of like Kaya Hart. Kaya Hart had something similar. Ruby gets this kind of style a lot. This is an iridescent -y sort of like organza fabric. It looks pretty on camera, but it's just, it's just not my favorite. Probably a versatile piece. You can just Velcro it from the back. It's not a full Velcro. So you do have to slip it off like a skirt almost, which we will do. Okay. And setting Violet aside, this is what it looks like. I said, just kind of like a little Velcro closure there. And it's meant to, to emulate like a jacket tied around the waist, but it's not an actual jacket. It's just like a, a fashion piece that's constructed that way. Okay, cool. Now bring in Violet back. <laughs> How you doing, Violet? Good, good, cool. Okay. Bringing Violet back, she has this sort of simple, this is, there's a rubber band there, okay. She has a simple dress with tons of sequins. There are three sequin types on here. Okay, we have the big ones, which have a big purple and like a smaller size silver to add dimension. And then there is a tinier little, almost pinkish purple sequin. So three types of sequins that make this design. It, once again, I don't like it for my taste levels, but like, just showing it on camera, it's pretty. It's stunning. And I could see like why they would make this more for like young kids, because it's just like, ooh, sequins. You know, when you you know, when you're like walking down like, I don't know, Macy's? What stores what, what stores are there? Nordstrom? Or you just like see sequins and you want to like rub them and touch them? Like it's very, very tactile thing. So maybe kids like this. You know, like those like reversible sequin pillows where you're just like, ooh, ooh. Um, but taste levels, like I said, for like adult taste levels, it's not really high fashion. This is getting more like Charlotte Russe wet seal, yeah, which is not what I'm trying to display in my uh, collection here. So yeah, probably not going to keep her in this, but it's rainbow high. So it's still like nicely made. Like you're not going to see this from Barbie. I'll tell you that. And then it is sewed on like this sort of sheer, almost mesh lavendery fabric which is kind of a stretchy material. And let's see, just Velcro's in the back. As such, and then you can slip it on and off. Another thing with these dolls, unfortunately, on top of the glitter faces is the loss of articulation. So we lost two points of articulation being the wrist and the thigh swivel. So the thighs used to be able to swivel. They now do not. You can still move like the knee but you can't really rotate the, you can do that with it, but you can't go up and down or rotate it or, yeah, a lot more limited articulation. So it does affect redressing these dolls because you can't take the wrists on or off. So certain articles of clothing are really hard to style with these dolls. And now moving on to Violet's shoes. I actually think these are the most interesting thing about this doll, given that most of the other slime dolls have like really chunky, thick sneakers that you're shoving slime into. Violet being the classy lady that she is, it's like a wedge heel that you can then remove the ends and stuff with slime and then you know show off your glitter slime put it back on the heel i feel like hers is the most interesting just because she's the only one who has a shoe like this as far as these like slime shoes go do i think the design is like creative no like this is a little ugly like what what is that like rope what is this meant to be i don't know i don't really know what this is meant to be but they're cool. They're cool. I like them. I, I wish we saw that type of shoe on Amaya. We did not. She got a copy of Jade's shoes. And that is Slime Violet. Quite the character, if you ask me. 
I still think she's a pretty base doll. I like her hair. Her hair feels really nice. And I like her face, despite people's opinions on the glitter. I've really warmed up to the glitter faces, to be honest. I'm not going to be here scrubbing that glitter off with acetone. I've kind of just accepted it and embraced it. And it looks really pretty. Like, when I'm just, like, afar in my room staring at these dolls, the glitter does look nice, just in ambient, neutral, default lighting, you know? Of course, when you're, like, this with your dolls, like, oh, the glitter, oh, it's ugly. Like, yeah, you might not like it. Like, this close, when you're inspecting her, it's like, oh, wow, that's, that's a little close there, Violet. But... Just from standard, like this, even this distance, like the glitter, <laughs> it's fuzzy. Even this distance, the glitter doesn't look terrible. It, it sparkles and shimmers very nicely, almost like the way Winter Break has that kind of face highlight, as you can see. Very similar effect, just a different execution. Okay, now we'll move on to Swim and Style Violet. Now, Swim and Style has a unique gimmick where this has a slime play gimmick. Swim and Style comes with a sarong, as you can see, and it comes elastic like this. You can just peel the elastic back so you can use said sarong and also keep these elastics. Usually the elastics you get from the factories or, you know, these, these manufacturers tend to be pretty strong. So I will set those elastics aside and use them for future play. And this is the little sarong you get. It is a one-way stretch fabric, so it stretches in this direction. It does not stretch. In this direction or it has a lot less give so diagonally you'll still get a stretch but yeah this is what you can do to then create tons of various fun unique styles for your swim doll as seen here <laughs> here are all the styles you can do i'm not going to go through all of them there's the first six and then four of them seem to be like designated for each of the four characters so we have violet skylar ruby and sunny's like default style and then these are just alternatives you can try out. I think the headscarf is super cute. I kind of want to try that on her. But I don't know what her vibe is. The, tying it around the bag is so silly. Yeah, so that is all the styles. We will demonstrate that later. But first, let's look at everything she comes with. So starting off with her face. Let's look at this gorgeous face. Come into focus. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Mine kind of has like a weird... <laughs> stain on her forehead i don't know what that's about but i think this brow shape sorry i'm like playing with her i think this brow shape just suits her a lot better and she has like really nice makeup and the lips are really nice this kind of like peachy nude neutral a lot more subtle blush it appears but look at that oh my god that shimmer is gorgeous yeah this makeup is really really pretty and you know if you do not like the glitter this is really nice because there's no there's no glitter the only downside is this hair this hair is not the best so we we shall see we shall we shall investigate and discover what's up with that hair and then we have the inset eyes violets are like a purpley blue i never talk about the eyes for whatever reason also i like i see a lot of people do eye swaps i hate eye swaps there's so much effort and i never bother with them but I feel like they really do so much to help your dolls get a whole new look. And like that is something I feel like I want to get into in the future. So who knows? We shall see. And this doll has very, very simple articulation. Just a shoulder articulation. And then I don't know what you call that. Like a singular leg articulation. Like what is this joint? I don't know. Hip? A hip swivel? It just goes up and down. Does not go left to right you cannot bend the knee and you cannot bend the ankle and then here you can actually bend this in more directions so you can bend it up down like omnidirectionally like 360. so the arms have more movement but yeah very very simple doll bodies i actually think there's something i don't know charming about a very simple doll form like this you know the joints are very clean and smooth sometimes you don't always need this dynamic posing sometimes you just need a doll that is a doll you know this is a doll she's a doll and fashion wise she has what appears to be two pieces is actually one piece yeah yeah look at that this is really nice this is a lot nicer than sunny's bathing suit a lot more like creative and well thought out as far as design goes. Even this little like knot piece that did not need to be here. Aha! Did not need to be here. Yeah. A lot cooler of a design than Sunny. So 
And then we have three shades of purple because like signature violet, she can't decide what purple she wants to be. So we have a more grapey purple. Then we have a more like light purple, borderline pink. And then like a very nice sort of dusty lavender purple with some spaghetti straps. And just a little ribbon and then it Velcros in the back. And then it just Velcros on the top. And then this is probably, sorry, I'm not trying to like undress her. This is probably held together with some like elastic or is it just like a stretch fabric? Yeah, you can just slide that on and off. So I like it. Am I going to use it? I don't know yet. We shall see. And then she has these heels. They are very similar to the slime heel, except actually probably cuter, I'd say. They have silver embedded glitter and just a singular translucent purple plastic. They are getting washed out, so I am sorry. And then my tidbit, my trick for shoes, if you are confused about what's left or right, because sometimes, like with this shoe, you do not get an L and an R on the bottom of them. Like I couldn't tell which one is left or right. What you can do is you can look at the mold, and anytime you see, sorry, they are not focusing, anytime you see buckles, see how these like have little buckle details? That is probably going to go on the outer, like the outside of the shoe versus the inside doesn't have those buckles. So you can tell this is left and that's right. Just a little tidbit if you're confused. And now she has some additional accessories. They're not the greatest, but they are unique molds. And anytime I can get a unique mold, I'm pretty happy to be honest. So let's look at Violet's. She has these sunglasses. They are not focusing. They are like a translucent purple plastic that are painted with a lighter purple. This is pretty nice for a budget, I'll, I'll be honest. And I think this shape is very cool and like timeless. And you can just perch them on top of her head as such, or actually put them on her. So let's see what they look like. That's not, that's not how you put glasses on, kids. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm messing up her hairstyle. Oh, this is bad. It's okay. I'm going to take it down anyways. Well, you get the idea. This is not great, but that's what they would look like on. I'm probably going to display them, you know, something like something like that. And then you get a purse. This is very simple. It just says rainbow and it's like a single purple plastic, almost gray. The only thing is like, how is she going to hold bag? Because that looks awkward. You can kind of like slam it on her like that if you like. It's just not really practical with her limited articulation. The thing with um, Sunny is that hers had a strap and you could sort of like cradle it around her so it just hangs very nicely without her needing this like silly arm sticking out. So I'm not a fan of Violet's purse, unfortunately. But you know what? They, they can't all be winners. You know, they can't all be winners. And that is Swim and Style Violet Willow. I think both of these Violets are really nice. And that's strange because Violet, like I said, rarely slays. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad with her. I think it's nice to see them side by side as our new foray into this reboot and this new sort of era of Rainbow High. It is, it is a somber era, but there is a silver lining. Like there are lots of pretty elements. Like all is all hope is not lost, you know? So I'm holding it out. I'm holding it out. Okay. Now I am going to take some time, undress them, wash the hair, and then we will come back and see what we can do from there as far as restyling them goes. Oh, but before before I do that, I will try to style this little sarong very quickly. Okay. Okay, before I move on and wash these dolls and, you know, clean them up, I did manage to get on the sarong. And mm, my main complaint with it is it's such a small piece of fabric that actually executing these designs and styles is very difficult. I was trying for a good three minutes to tie the little bits of fabric into a knot to no avail. And then I eventually resorted to just taking a piece of elastic and tying it around the neck, as you can see, just to get it to stay. Now, that, look at that, <laughs> look at that. Like, it was just very difficult. And these, these dolls in particular do feel more geared towards like younger children. You know, they're in bathing suits, pretty simple outfits, lower price. I'm sure you can bang these around in the bathtub or whatever. 
And this little play gimmick just seems very impractical for children. Like if I, as an adult, am having a hard time to execute these default designs, given the size of the fabric, I can just only imagine how it is for kids or even just other adults with like bad motor skills or dexterity issues for whatever reason. If you're one of those people who like don't like dealing with ribbon shoes and laces, you're probably not going to like this play feature either. And to be honest, I don't really care for it. It's not my favorite. Does it even look that good? Like, I don't even know if the payoff's that great. Mm. Yeah, it's just a little bit strange. The fabric needs to be just like a smidgen bigger and then maybe this would be easier to play with. But as it stands, it's not my favorite feature. Okay, and then let's finish off the slime, add that glitter, and see what that's about. I, you know, don't love the slime, but I'm a glutton for punishment. What can I say? Okay, so what I do is I take it out. It's, it's, it feels okay. feels okay. Not super sticky. Okay, and then I kind of like flatten it to like a little pancake. That's a big pancake. Okay, and then I lay it on top of the shaker. I'm going to grab this glitter, which almost looks pink, to be honest. I'm going to pour that on top. Mm, that's too much, but it's fine. It's done. The deed is done. And lately I've been doing this because it's just like, why not? I'm adding more finer glitter <laughs> that I have. just like craft glitter that I use for like doll customs and whatever. Let's add a little bit of that to the mix. Mm, I think that's good. Mm, yeah, that's good. That's already enough. That's, that's enough. Okay. So now I'm going to mix it. And then I kind of just like fold it into a ball and trap the glitter inside. Like so, like so. And now you've trapped the glitter in there and you can kind of just like, wow. Oh, I popped the glitter void. Oh no. Oh my, oh, this is a mess. I popped, oh, I popped the, oh, I popped it. Oh my gosh, I messed up. Oh, I'm scared. It's everywhere. Oh, this is a disaster. Oh, shoot, what'd I do, what'd I do? You y'all um so don't do what i just did don't don't oh it's getting everywhere oh no it's getting everywhere <sighs> like hyperventilating oh that was worst idea i'm just gonna try my best to make sure it doesn't get everywhere okay this is going terrible well that's this oh <gasps> It's falling. It's falling. That's the glitter. This is the slime. This slime feels different than my other slimes. Maybe that's not helping. It feels a lot stickier. Like, I don't feel like I've had sticky issues in the past. Oh my gosh. And it's stuck everywhere and I'm going to have to wash it off. And it's terrible for the environment. Might I add microplastics? Like, I don't advocate for that. I'm not, I'm not proud of this, to be honest. Like, this is not great for the environment. But is it pretty? Do we, do we like... <laughs> Y'all, I keep making this damn slime, and I'm sure not one person cares about this, truthfully. Truthfully, but th it it's kind of entertaining. I, I, I entertain myself doing these videos, to be quite frank. <laughs> it actually looks good. That's the most annoying part. I, I, I hate that it actually looks good. Like, I want to hate the slime. I literally do. But, like, I kind of have fun. I do. Like, I'm just squeezing it, and it's kind of fun. And, okay. It didn't turn out so bad. I do have residue everywhere. I'm not going to touch the doll, I swear. But one thing I do want to do real quick is put it in the shoes. I'm going to do that off camera because it's a, a nightmare. So I'll be back. Okay, I am back. And this took me like five minutes to put slime into shoe. It is so hard. It is always the hardest thing. Like the bag and the pet, easy, easy, easy. The shoes so much freaking work because you have to get the perfect amount so the slime doesn't squirt out of the edges and then it always squirts out and you have to scrape out the excess and then put it away and keep measuring it and to be honest to be quite frank violet's shoes with the slime are like the most slay like they're still kind of ugly they're not the best and they're getting washed out there we go that's like an accurate accurate look of slime shoe i think violets are the best and I'm actually kind of loving. I really like these shoes <laughs> with the glitter slime. Wow, these are the, these are the best. These are the best one. This was definitely worth that hassle. I really like the effect on these. The sneakers, not so much, but these, love them. Okay, now that I've given myself enough of a headache with this damn slime, 
I'm going to finally clean up this mess and clean them up, wash their hair with dish soap, condition, restyle, come back and we'll close out this video. Okay, so be right back. Okay, quick progress update on these two as far as styling their hair goes. So I washed and conditioned them last night. Now for Slime Violet, I separated her hair into two sections. And then I just kind of like curled it with my hands ever so slightly and wrapped it up and let it dry like this. And I've done this before. It does give a really nice curl pattern to the hair. Um, so yeah, it's still a little damp. I'm going to let it finish drying and then we'll see how these curls turn out. And then for Miss Swim and Style Violet, I actually soaked her hair and conditioner overnight. It's still soaked. And I'm going to wash it out now and see if that maybe helps out her hair, makes it feel any better. I don't know. We shall see. Maybe it was a bad idea. Maybe it was a good idea. I'll keep you posted. Sorry for poking you, Violet. <laughs> but yeah, that's my update on these two. Okay, I am back and I'm all finished restyling these two Violet Willow dolls. I have to say, I'm pretty happy with both of them. I think they both look really, really good. And I've never really loved Violet Willow as a base doll. Like, as you can see with Margot, I love stealing Violet's clothes and giving them to other dolls. But I try to really embrace Violet as a base doll today and honor her and, you know, give her some pretty restyles. And I'm pretty happy with how both of these turned out. So starting off with Slime Violet, I gave her Demi Batista's dress from Shadow High Costume Ball. It's kind of like a brocade fabric. So it reminds me of like curtains or like a couch or something, but it's a super nice dress. Just has little spaghetti straps and some studs, um, kind of like a sweetheart neckline. I really like it. I do feel like she needs a necklace. I just couldn't find one. So sorry, Violet. And then she has the iconic Naomi Storm fur coat. I love this coat and I really like the silhouette. It's such a classic Violet Willow silhouette. It feels like a callback to her first doll. So I like it just in a little bit of a darker color scheme. And then she got to keep her little slime heels and I do want to display her with her purse. It's just kind of tough because it falls off very easily. So for the meantime, I'm just going to set it down. And I gave her a pair of headphones. They're from an LOL OMG doll from City Babe, I'm pretty sure. And I like the way they kind of hold her hair back and frame her face. I think she looks really cool and I like it. It does have some of that like LOL OMG iconography, but it's fine. I don't really care. And then as for her hair, this is what the curls ended up looking like. So as you saw in my previous clip, I just let them dry in like very, very tight uh, kind of like coils. And then I took my rat tail comb and just ever so slightly separated the curls. So these curls have no product in them. They are gorgeous and luscious, and I think they look amazing. And yeah, ignore the bald spot. Don't clock me. <laughs> but yeah, I really like her hair. And I was going to give her like some little buns and a little spiky moment. Like I was going to do something with her, but I don't know. I felt like her classic just hair down looked good, and I didn't really want to change it. So I just opted to keep it as is, and I'm happy with it. And then as for Swim and Style Violet, y'all, I hate this hair. I tried to restyle her and give her like a little kind of bouffant-esque moment, and it was not working out. So I opted to just settle for this very loose kind of low ponytail. And I separated out some like bang tendrils that I curled using some boba straws and some mousse. I think the end result looks really good, but I just have to say, if you are in denial about swim and style and them having polypropylene hair, just please trust me. It is noticeably, like extremely noticeably lower quality hair, which is very unfortunate. And that's not to say that these dolls aren't worth your time and that they're not pretty. Like this Violet Willow face is one of the best. It just sucks that her hair is so, so bad. And given how bad it was, I felt like I still pulled something cute out of it, I'll say. I think she looks really, really good. I tied a little like lace ribbon around and, you know, gave her some earrings and changed up her bathing suit a little bit. I gave her Margot of Perla's bathing suit, like the tops and the bottoms, and then Malene Lux's earrings because Margot's bathing suit had gold. You know, I'm trying to like keep it cohesive. And I really like her. I think she looks stunning. But... The hair is just something I can't really get past. It makes me sad. 
and especially with such a beautiful face. Mm, just very disappointing. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. I tied the sarong, don't like the sarong, but I still think I styled it pretty well. And overall, I'm happy with Violet. And I'll be honest, I went into this kind of being like, Violet's going to flop. Because, you know, Violet usually always flops. It's very rare that Violet doesn't, you know. But I really like both of these dolls, and I'm very happy with my restyles. I'm very happy to have both of them in my collection, despite the poly hair, despite the lack of articulation, despite the maybe lackluster fashion. That's a lot of despites. Okay, I, I gotta... Woo! MJ, you're coming a close for me here, okay? I hope the next release from y'all is not in this direction. Fingers crossed, everyone. Let's like let's manifest this together right here, right now. That Rainbow High's next release has articulation, nice clothes. Mm, please, please, please. No polypropylene hair. Like, I I need it. I need it. I I like these dolls, but yep. <laughs> but <laughs> that's all I have to say. And I hope you had fun hanging out with me today. I love making YouTube videos and being silly and fun on this platform. So yeah, please don't take anything I say too serious. I'm really just here to share my passion for dolls and my journey into collecting and customizing and just being a silly little guy, you know? <laughs> okay, comment down below how you feel about Violet Willow. Do you like her? Do you hate her? Does she flop? Does she not? Let me know. But that's all I have. My name's Eli, this is my channel, Dracula, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.